So that, 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 <laughs> now, now watch this. This is talk about. Here it comes. Now watch what Mike has to say to Andrea McCoy. Being with the cloth, and uh, I mean, I, I really don't want to be the one uh, delivering this, but I got to tell you. <laughs> wow. This is really funny. I don't know why I'm laughing so this much. This is like the head of the prom committee telling you the prom is canceled. Yes. yes. It is so great. <laughs> oh, that is what this is like. So they all they all thought they were going to have a fun time. Our can, our establishment candidate who's down with all of the money in politics, who keeps the money train flowing to us in the news media. That's all. It's all everything's the status quo. So they're into the status quo. So if you like if you're for Hillary Clinton, you're into the status quo. They are. Okay, and uh, this is this is this is just kind of. What were the weird emails she was getting? Were they from Ashley Madison? I assume. It's uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. I could start a war if you M click on that. Make your schlong huge. Here we go. But I got to tell you, this is really hard to believe. It feels like she's lying straight out. Andrea Mitchell, is she lying? <laughs> it feels like she's just lying straight oh. out. Oh. My, I wonder God. what Andrea's gonna say. It feels like she's lying straight out. You mean because she's lying straight out? It that you know why it feels that way? Because she is. Can, can, That's why. Can we point out like from uh, if you've like... ever watched this show, if you ever watched our show, listen to our show. How rarely journalists say the word lie. They will never say lie. They will never. So for her to say, lie. is she lying? Just flat even, out. That's even, a big deal. That's huge. And to show you what a big deal it is, watch Andrea Mitchell not say it. Here we go. <laughs> I can't say that. Uh, I, mean, I would let the viewer, I would let the voter make those determinations, but it doesn't hold up. There are so many inconsistencies, including their response yesterday. And uh, as Chuck said, uh, it was sort of jaw dropping that they try, instead of coming out and saying, look, you know, it was a mistake, as she has previously acknowledged, it was bad judgment. And we don't know whether or not it was hacked. We know that there were attempts to penetrate. Uh, there's no evidence in this report that that penetration, that that actually happened, but uh, you can't, you know, prove the negative. But they should have just come out, arguably, and said, uh, this is a mess and we're going to try to move on. Instead, they're fighting it and coming out with a complete, uh, a completely non-credible argument. So instead of saying a complete lie, she says a complete non-credible mm. argument. Mm. I guess that's as close as you can cut. That's not credible, meaning that's a lie. You Meaning know. I don't believe it. What you're saying isn't true. So there's all these different words instead of saying it's a lie. It's a non-credible. Non-credible. Or what, if it was Tom Brokaw, he would say that's an overreach. Well, well the, the basis of Andrea Mitchell's uh, reporting career is not getting sued. That's that's like her, <laughs> yes. that's her biggest asset. It's yeah. on her resume. Like, not suable. Not suable. Go ahead, Jim. You know, uh, you know, with uh, Bill Clinton, when he apologized, uh, there was also no penetration. <laughs> So that's an important thing. You so, know, if only there was somebody running for president who you could trust. Is, if there was only someone running for president who was who had like a track record yeah, of not being corrupt, who following the rules and but oh, there is a guy. What's that guy's name? Bernie Sanders. So is this so? By the way, we all remember when Bernie Sanders said, "I'm so sick and tired of hearing you, you goddamn emails." <laughs> yeah. But guess what? And that's why we all kind of dismissed it. Like, oh, it's like Benghazi. It's like Travelgate. It's like Monica Lewis. It's like nothing. There's no there there. That's what I thought about the email thing. Ah, it's another one of these made up scandals. Turns out not. Barack Obama appointed an investigator. Uh, a gen what is it called? Inspector General. Inspector, Inspector General. Danny K. Movie. I know it's not invest. I thought it's it was Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget. And Inspector Gadget came up with this, right? So is it? So now, guess what? Who's also getting up, getting worried about this? Guess who's freaking out about this? Well, here's Mark Halpern to tell us who's freaking out about Ooh. this. See now, the Justice Department, the FBI doesn't want to interview Secretary Clinton, and that interview alone, short of an indictment, short of anything else, that would be a huge political development. It would undermine confidence in some Democrats in the notion of going forward with Secretary Clinton. There are some people in the White House who are starting to talk about this. It's not clear to me whether they know what's happening or there's just their intuition. But the body language among some Obama administration officials is this is more serious and something's going to happen. Look, if there's an indictment, it's over. She's out. Cokey? That's Cokey uh, Robertson, Mark. Can, you don't get two more insider establishment neoliberals than Mark Halpern and uh, that uh, Cokey Roberts. So uh, there you go. 
Uh, These are, this is, reminds me a lot of when the Lewinsky scandal broke, and there were a lot of Democrats who were just pissed. Yes. They were like, how could you be so stupid? stupid. How could you be so stupid? That's right. That's and exactly how the Democrats exactly reacted. It's exactly the same thing, where they're like, we are past yes. the point of no return here. And, you... and then we had to defend Bill Clinton because of it, right? Because right. what was the, op- the opposition was to go in with Newt Gingrich, right. right? So we had to fight them. And so that's kind of what's happening now, but it's happening before the convention. So the Democrats still have a time to pick a real Democrat, a real liberal, an uncorrupted person who's not under FBI indictment. They have that. They have a clean guy. They have a clean guy that they can nominate. So that's interesting that Barack Obama's administration, the White House, is really worried about this. Now, according to Mark Halpern, let's see what the uh, uh, what they say on CNN about this. Let's see what Barack or Carl Bernstein has to say. Two State Department staffers did raise concerns about the server and were told that it was that they shouldn't ask again. What are the implications of that? The implications of all of this are that Hillary Clinton did not want her emails subjected to the Freedom of Information Act or subpoenas from Congress. And that's why she set up a homebrew server. I think we all know that. People around her will tell you that in private if you really get them behind a closed door. I was in Washington this week. I spoke to a number of top Democratic officials, and they're terrified, including people at the White House, that her campaign is in free fall because of this distrust factor. Uh, And indeed, Trump has a similar problem. But she's the one whose numbers are going south. And the great hope in the White House, as well as the Democratic leadership and people who support her, is that she can just get to this convention, get the nomination, which they're no longer 100 percent sure of, uh, and get President Obama out there to help her. He's got a lot of credibility. It's the election that's partly about his legacy. But she needs all the help she can get because right now her campaign is in huge trouble. But it's a long time against a candidate like Donald Trump who's got tremendous negatives and a really awful record in business in many regards that the Democrats and Hillary Clinton uh, are going to attack. It's a jeopardy. So it's just two horrible, horrible people that we have to see. It's who, a question who, of who's more horrible than who's the more other. Horrible. That's it. So everybody's upset. The White House is actually worried. It's not a real lock anymore. That's Carl Bernstein saying that's what the White House is saying. It's all those jagoffs on Twitter who keep saying, don't you guys know how to do math? First of all, the math is fucking wrong on your side. There is no math yet. The superdelegates have not voted. There, no one has the nomination. No one will have the nomination until the Wednesday of the frickin' convention when the superdelegates vote. That's just a fact. So all these asswipes who keep tweeting out, you guys don't like Bernie bros, don't like math. It's math. Oh, math is corrupt. It's not. The, you don't have the math, you morons. Anyway, nice candidate you got there. Way to go, you guys. You guys couldn't pick better. Oh, I love Hillary. What the fuck is wrong with you?